There we go. Not Learn good. that in like chapter five. It's extremely important for us to have this type of technology and the fact that our students go out and go into the world and in, and in the nation and, and internationally um, and have to know how to use all different types of technology. And so therefore we want to get them the opportunity to learn everything they might experience out there in the world um, and learn how to use those, those tools um, to improve themselves and help and benefit others. What's your float speed? My float speed's at 300. Exactly. Look, look what happens when like we have a lot of people look at Apex together as a team and from our, our school. And I think the thing that sold us on is it's it's recent. Um, kids get engaged with it. They they can relate to it. They make connections to the videos, the the curriculum that's within it. So you know that was our biggest sell is that a lot of times things can get dry when they get to be on online. And therefore we like the fact that Apex stays fresh, stays new, and updates their information to be as current as possible. It's really important that you know that rural schools have access to something like this. It is hard to stay competitive with the larger schools that can have a bunch of diverse programs and opportunities like that because um, you can't just hire a full-time teacher. Even it's hard to find a part-time teacher that's willing to, to do something like that. I'm taking uh, the Apex course for game design and I'm building my own video yeah, game. There. There so, it is. Fire, smoke. Okay. You're allowed to use your own imagination and create what you want to create. I do the 3D character animation. A lot of uh, businesses and organizations are moving towards open source, and Blender is an open source program. It's, it's amazing just watching them, seeing them in their element, doing the things that they love to do, and just communicate with each other and have that collaboration with their peers. So when I graduate, it will give me an understanding on how game design works and how I could potentially use it to make a college decision. There are no other classes like this in our school, so this is a great opportunity for me. This just gives a, an extra level of their independence and use their own knowledge to try to first problem solve and figure things out on their own. There's different resources, what kind of tools can I use to help me get from there to here, but ultimately they're learning from each other. In Apex technology, I'm learning how to like texturize like, and make games look, I guess, more appealing to people. Technology is very important so you can learn more things than just reading from a book. And what's also really nice is it's independent learners so that kids can pick the class that best fits their needs versus everybody kind of having to do the same thing. Um, so it becomes much more individualized. What I like most about the course is that it's extremely simple and easy to follow. Uh, it's well laid out. It's right in line with what they were looking for. Those kids wanted something that took them to the next level in online technology and, and the courses they were looking for for a career, and it's exactly what they wanted. So I've heard that feedback from them, and I'm really excited that they're, they're excited. Mm -hmm.